Hello, Devi fans. I'm here with someone very special. You know who he is. He made 3D Devi. David, tell me about this 3D Devi that you made. Hi, everyone. Um, here is 3D Devi I show you. Uh, Devi is here. Um, Devi, Devi, the idea of Devi I uh, have when, when I was in Cisco Live Cancun in DevNet Zone, I, I want a, a special sticker, a sticker at DeviBob. So I, I get an idea. I, I said, I want a real DeviBot. Um, DeviBot is here. DeviBot is based in Raspberry Pi and Python scripting. So um, that's it. Very cool. Yes, yes. Some days before the DevNet day, I talking with my brother. My brother designed the 3D and we print the, 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 the body. So are you going okay. to make more Debbie's? Uh, we we working a new new body, new body that right now I don't have the circuits. I don't have another another Raspberry Pi. But um, I need to buy other Raspberry Pi, other display, and I can make some some more more Debbie Thank you for your creativity, especially um, during these times when we're spending a lot of days at home. We really appreciate it. And please remind our audience where you're joining from. I'm from Ecuador. I live in Quito. My my uh, I, I'm I'm working I'm working as Cisco partner. I mean system engineer, designing different different projects about networking, wireless. And right now I'm working hard to learn programmability, uh, improve my skills in Python, improve my skills in API integrations. And Debbie is my my own lab. <laughs> Thank you, Sylvia. I'm really excited to be talking to Rodrigo. I think you have been to other events, right? You have a Cisco DevNet t-shirt. Yeah, I have uh, this t-shirt with my my colleagues here in Cisco uh, in Cisco on uh, São Paulo office. Uh, there is an, a specific event here that learning more about uh, uh, DevNet Day. So I got this this t-shirt from from the from the guys. There are a lot of um, events and projects going on in Brazil. Yeah, uh, just I, I mean I mean just to to make some some projects uh, inside my company in order to 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 give you more facilities inside of the the programmability in order to make it some deploy or to speed up the the deploy on the environment because sometimes there is a uh, whole out and the need to install a lot of the devices in the in the customer's environment. So uh, there is a, some developed uh, codes that you need to identify uh, a different components on, on the customer structure and uh, make it the correct uh, script or to deploy the correct script on the on the environment. So there is a some deploy or some develop uh, that I made uh, on the GitHub. Uh, and uh, at this moment, I have a specific code on the exchange, a code exchange on the developer of Cisco. Uh, that uh, is the same. So I'm trying to, to, to get a better uh, script to, to make this. <laughs> so um, what, for people who are getting started, how would you recommend that they get started um, with DevNet? Yeah, uh, I, I believe that it's be the better um, point that to, to start your journey uh, to, to getting uh, developer.cisco.com because there is a lot of the, the labs or information or something like that. And uh, for me, uh, I, I, I learned uh, much of the, of the talks with Hank, Hank Preston, uh, about the video, uh, about the networking, uh, one uh, oh one, so there is a lot of the video that help people to to start your journey. So for me, uh, it's it's good. And uh, uh, if it, if someone asks for me, I I always uh, say 
start on the developer.cisco uh, and you're getting uh, lots of the, the, the topics there. So that's good. That's fantastic. Well, thank you for being so active on uh, you know, sharing and, and engaging with the community. I always see your, you know, your name when we have announcements or when there are conversations happening. And it makes me smile because I, mean, I know, great, Brazil is represented. Yeah, I, 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 I'm not sure if you remember, but you send a, a lot of the speaker for me. <laughs> then, oh my then I have, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah I, I, I have a, a lot of this. So I appreciate. <laughs> I'm glad that you do that because it's it's like you know we're in the real world. Sometimes we don't get to see each other, but I'm so glad that you got those. So yes, I pay attention. I take a look when people are tweeting about DevNet, sharing something on LinkedIn, and that's how I came across this video where Jonas was so excited telling us about an upcoming event. Uh, my name is Jonas Fraga. Uh, I work in, uh, I live in Brazil and work in, in a Cisco partner company. Uh, about the video in LinkedIn, uh, I was invited by Gabriela from Cisco Community in Portuguese um, to deliver uh, an event about DevNet because she knows uh, recently that I have taken the DevNet Associate Certification. And uh, I have posted a lot of things about certification, and she was interested in, in interviewing me and talk to me. And hey, uh, can you do it a little event uh, when I talk about DevNet or something else uh, about it? I'd say, yeah, that, that will be great. So uh, she asked me to make a little video to invite people to, to, um, to join the, this event. And uh, I thought it was really great. It's a, it's a great experience. It's a really great experience that anyone should um, should do it because uh, as a standard engineer, uh, it's really hard to, to see something in development in, in, in the world. So we are using to type your comments and uh, set up devices, but we're not usually to programming things. I can see a movement in the um, past of years companies wanting to uh, acquire an enterprise solution to uh, get a real uh, and, and reliable information and connect them to other systems that attend that business. That, that's a really good movement in the market and uh, I think DevNet Creative uh, helps a lot to achieve that. Now, Bruno, you know that Brazil is big and, and I appreciate all the work that you're doing. I know that there are more people that we can welcome in, in the community in Brazil. Now, from the student side, from the business side, it's different getting started. And of course, there's the certifications. What is your advice for people who maybe are afraid to take that first step? Um, if anyone are afraid to take the step, listen to your heart. If you think uh, you, you, you might be excited to do it, just do it. Uh, don't be afraid to learn something new that totally normal you have to um, you have to face that that fear and follow your heart that that's my advice because uh, take a leap it's not it's not easy um, because you are asking yourselves all the time maybe I good at as programmer as I was in collaboration solutions for example but don't be afraid about that forget that just take a learn if you are excited learning about that go for it that's what advice. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm super excited to see you here. And yes, prove that when you use the hashtag DevNet, I will see it. Thanks again, Jonas. My pleasure, Sylvia. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.